Alright, so hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video, and today we're gonna take a quick look at the second weapon you can get from the Scarlet Spear Operation, the Seti Lacera. So, first things first, to get the weapon you have to buy the blueprint from Little Quack for 20,000 Scarlet credits, and you will then be able to build it in your foundry for 25,000 credits, 8,150 salvage, 400 oxium, 5,950 rubido, and 15 morphix. The city version of the Lacera is a Mastery Rank 12 sword and whip that does 216 damage per hit, 100 out of which is electricity, 66 is slash, 38 is puncture and 12 is impact. The weapon is pretty fast with an attack speed of 1.08, it has a decent 20% crit chance with a standard 2x crit multiplier, a range of 2.5 which is pretty good, it doesn't feel like it needs any range mods whatsoever and it is a pretty massive 40% status chance. So all in all it is a pretty big upgrade over the standard Lasser. I mean yeah it does have 5% less status but the crit chance and attack speed more than make up for it. Now the build I ended up using on the Seti Lacera only requires one forma where you add a V. So for the stance I'm running default snapdragon which is the only stance you can use here but luckily it's really fun and strong after the rework. Then we move over to primed pressure point or condition overload because the weapon does proc more than enough status to make condition overload viable here so this one is kind of up to you. Then we move over to blood rush so we get more crit chance as we build our combo counter, Berserker for a ton of attack speed, Organ Chatter for crit damage, following that we have Drifting Contact for the combo duration and status chance, Bus Skill for more slash damage and this is mainly here just so that slash procs more often and then we top it off with Virulent Scourge and Vicious Frost for Viral and Status. Now I've tried a bunch of different builds for this one and the second best one if you don't want to run Viral and Slash on everything was just pure Corrosive. So you slap on High Voltage, Malignant Force and Prime Fever Strike. However that one, while still pretty strong, did not scale quite as well as this one. Because well, you know, running Viral and Slash on a melee weapon like this is just kinda dumb, especially when the stance has a lot of multi hits. So yeah, in terms of raw performance, this is definitely in the upper tier of melee weapons and it is most likely the best blade and whip we have in the game right now. I can't really think of another blade and whip that is quite as strong as this. But then again, we do only have four and that includes this one. So as the performance out of the way, now let's talk about fun and enjoyability. Is the weapon fun? Oh yes it is. It's one of those rare weapons where you can just put on a fully min-max build so you have a ton of damage and it's still fun. It doesn't feel like you need more range with primed reach or anything like that. But if you do feel like you want some quality of life mods or utility mods in there like primed reach, it has more than enough damage so that you can just take out bus skill, put in primed reach and it's not gonna make that much of a difference, the weapon is still gonna do a truck ton of damage. So yeah, the Seti Lacera, a really fun weapon that does a truck ton of damage and has an awesome stance. This is something you should definitely pick up. And that is pretty much all I wanted to say, so I thank you very much for watching. As always guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video and it was helpful, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.